Hello everyone, welcome to the third part of the training video. So in today's video, we are going to see how we will add the supplier, how we will make the purchase entry, okay, and how we will do tagging for that particular items. Okay, start the video. We will start the video by adding a supplier. First, I will go to add user. Okay, now I have to add the supplier, so I will first click on the add supplier. Okay, here we are having option like the retailer. Okay, whether you are adding them for wholesaler, manufacturer, you have to choose here. Okay, you have to just edit here. Here will come the ID of the supplier, the firm. Okay, the group, subgroup, the primary group for that particular supplier is sundry creditors. Here will come his business name as jewelry I am taking. Okay, and here will come his first name. I am taking as sharp. Okay. Here will come his last name as. Okay. Here you can choose the gender, his birth date, okay, if any spouse name and his birth date, any caste or any qualification, you can just add. You can add his PAN number, GST number, other card. You can add all his KYC here. Okay, you can maintain all his KYC. You can even click image of that particular supplier. Okay, now here will come the city. I'm clicking. Okay, here will come the city, the state, India, and the country. These three fields are mandatory to add a supplier. Now I'll click on add supplier. As you can see, my supplier is added here in the name of jewelry, and his name is Sham Yangu. If I'll check on the user list. And I'll go to supplier list. Here it is showing me the suppliers list. Okay, now what I have to do, I have to click on the supplier. Now we have to purchase the jewelry from the supplier. I will go to his purchase panel and I'll click on the fine jewelry. As we are purchasing fine jewelry, so we'll go to fine jewelry. If you are purchasing imitation jewelry, go to the imitation jewelry. If you are purchasing raw metal or stone, you have to choose. Okay, now I'm purchasing fine jewelry, so I'll go to fine jewelry. Here it is showing the date, purchase date. Okay, the hallmark UID number, the counter name is also we are having. We are having invoice number. Invoice number will start from IP as invoice purchase. Then we are having firm name, the account, it will come under purchase account. Okay, metal type whether you are purchasing gold, silver, or any other metal. I'm taking gold. In category, you can write what you are purchasing. Like I am taking mixed gold. Like I am purchasing in bulk. So that's why it will come. Mixed gold I am taking. And even the product name I am taking. Mixed gold. Okay. Now here will come the quantity. How much quantity you are purchasing. I am taking 20 as the quantity. And here will the product code for that particular item will get auto generated. Or you can even generate yours okay i'm taking mix mix one i can take okay here will come the gross weight how much gross weight you are purchasing for example i'm taking 150 gram here will come the packet weight if any less weight you want to do if it belongs to any brand you can add the brand name any other information you want to add and hsn number or tax percentage if you want to add then we have net weight and we have purity what is the purity for that particular stocks like 92 I am taking and any wastage he has charged you so we'll write here so I am taking it as 0 you can see my valuation is coming 7 like 80,000 according to today's rate like the 52,000 okay, you can even change it to the purchase rate for example I am taking 45,000 ok if any labor charges he has charged you I am taking labor charges as 150 per gram he has charges or any hallmarking charges if he has charged. Okay. Now I'll click on the submit. Now here is the payment plan for that particular products. And if you are purchasing more than two or three items at a time, like you are purchasing in silver also, so you can just take the metal type silver. You can write the category and taking silver and the product name. Also silver. Okay. Here we will write the quantity. How much quantity you are purchasing. 
for example, I'm purchasing 10. Here I'll take the product code. I'll take as SILT silver. Here will come the gross weight. I'm purchasing 150. Or you can take the 155. Okay. Packet weight, net weight. Then the purity, I'm taking 85. Okay, any wastage here is charged. I'm taking 10%. Okay, any labor charges if you have charged or any uh, okay, all marking charges if you have charged. Now I'll click on the submit. As you can see, now I've purchased two items at a time. Here comes the payment panel. Okay, now if you are paying him through metal, so you can just write the metal details over here. Okay, if you are paying to metal and if you are paying to crash. You can, you can just keep it as it is and you can just write here to which pay, mode you are doing the payment. So, so I will take here the percentage, tax percentage. Okay. And if you are giving him metal, so just write here as I am taking. We are giving him 50 gram as metal. Okay. And we are giving it by the purity of 100. Like raw gold we are giving him. You obviously you will not do the less weight from the valuation. Okay, what we have to do, we have to click on the no rate cut option. As I click on the no rate cut option, you can see the gold rate is minus from my amount, uh, the remaining. Okay, like the 138 gram I purchased, the fine jewelry, fine gold, according to the percentage, 50 gram is less, and the 88 gram. Is remaining which means the 88 gram uh, payment I have to make to that particular supplier okay this was for gold and if you are giving any silver then you can less from the silver as well if I'll click on this plus button you can even take here if you are less making less for the silver as well okay so this means no red cut means if you are doing metal to metal transaction with the particular supplier Okay, then we have rate cut option. Rate cut option is like if you are paying half metal and half you are paying through cash. Then that in that condition you will use the rate cut option. Then we have cash option like you are paying whole in cash. So you can click on the cash option. Okay, as I click on no rate cut, that's why. Now it is only showing me the labor charges that I have that the particular supplier is taking from me. Okay, and obviously we will pay the labor charges in cash. So if you are paying, you can just write in the cash option. Okay, I am taking 20,500 and I will click on the submit. Now you can see here is the purchase invoice. This is the purchase invoice. You can see it will show you the remaining gold balance and the remaining silver balance. How much amount you have to pay. And the amount you have paid, it is showing in this column. Okay. Now, if I will check on his home page, the supplier's home page, it will show you the 88 gram and the silver, it is also showing you like the payment you have to make for this much weight for the gold and the silver. Okay. Now, if you are making payment against this particular gold, then you have to go to his transaction panel and go to the payment panel. Okay. Now from this panel you have to choose whether what for uh, which weight you are doing the payment. Like I am taking the 88 gross weight. I click on this and I will click on the rate cut option. Okay. So rate cut is like I am paying him for 20 gram. So I will take 20 gram. So according to today's rate, rate 52,000, the valuation is coming 1 lakh. 4000 okay and if you are paying only the amount like 1 lakh if i'll take here 1 lakh so it and i'll click on the enter so as you can see it took the weight according to the amount i have added okay same we can do for silver if i'll click on the silver same we can do if we are paying for silver like we are paying the amount like i'm taking here 2 lakh As you can see, if I will take 2 lakh, then the amount, here it will take the weight according to it. Okay. 
Now, if I'll go down and you are making the payment for this much amount, so take care and to bring it in like 3 lakh and paying through bank, and now I'll click on submit. If I'll check on the home page, you can see the gold balance is remaining is 68,769 for that particular supply. Okay. Same you can do for the metal from the two imitation jewelry, raw metal and stone. Okay. Now if you want to return any fine jewelry, you can return from this panel. Okay, it is same as for the cell panel. Then we are having list. If I'll check on the fine jewelry list, it will show you the fine jewelry list here. Okay, then if you have purchased any imitation, raw metal or any stones you have purchased, and if any purchase return you have done, it will show in the purchase return list. Okay, so this is how we do the purchase entry. Now if I'll check in the report, in report, I'll go to the gold stock and you can check the mixed gold that I purchased from the supplier, the details are showing here. Okay, now if I'll check its category, it might be showing here in wholesale. Now you want to do tagging for this particular 20 items. Okay, now you want to separate the items, the one you purchased in the bulk. So how you do? You have to convert the wholesale stock to the retail stock. So now you have to go to the stock panel. Here we are having stock report. As I told you in last video, we have your option like not stock list to create tag. If I'll click on this, here it is showing the wholesale stock that I purchased from the supplier. Now I want to do tagging for the gold. So I'll click on the plus icon under the category. Okay, you can see this panel is opening. So from this panel, you'll separate the stock, you'll convert it to retail. For example, I am taking chain okay, from the item, I am taking category, chain and LG. Okay, here will come the quantity. I am taking as gross with as 12 gram. Any packet what you want to less. Then purity will be same. Okay, if any wastage or customer wastage, any labor on making you want to add, you can add from here. For example, I am taking 250 per gram. Okay, now I'll click on add stock. As you can see, now the remaining will is showing me like 19 quantity and 138 gross width. The remaining is showing me. Same if I do for 10.600 and I'll click on add stock. Now you can see 18 quantity is remaining and 127.400 gross width is remaining. Now if I click, you have to just click on the cross, okay. here also it will show you the remaining wholesale stock. Now if I will check in the report, in the gold stock, you can see the chain is separated from that wholesale stock. Now, if I will go to tag panel, you can see the both details are showing here, L chain 1 and the chain 2. Okay, you can just click on the print and you can print the barcode for this particular item. Okay, so this is how you will add the supply, you will purchase from the supply and you can just convert the wholesale stock to retail stock and you can sell uh, it and you can do tagging for that particular retail stock that you have converted. Okay, so thank you for watching the video. If you have any question or any query, you can just comment below and stay tuned for the next video, the fourth part. Thank you.